McCain underwent surgery in July for a brain tumor that was later found to be a form of glioblastoma, an aggressive form of tumor that grows rapidly. It's the same type of cancer that took the life of his former Senate colleague Edward M. Kennedy in 2009. Source of McCain told CBS's 60 Minutes in an interview that aired on Sunday night that he thinks about Kennedy a lot. He says Kennedy continued to work despite the diagnosis and never gave up because he loved the engagement. Doctors initially downplayed the seriousness of the situation until McCain told them to give it to me straight. That's when he found out exactly what he was facing. They said that the prognosis is very, very serious. Some say 3%, some say 14%. You know, it's, it's a very poor prognosis, McCain says. McCain says he has feelings sometimes of fear of what happens but counters that with gratitude for having lived a great life. Source of the Republican senator, who has been a vocal critic of Donald Trump returned to Washington just 11 days after brain surgery to vote on the health care bill. When he walked onto the Senate floor, McCain received a standing ovation, which he says left him choked up, reports CNN. And then, of course, you know, all of them coming over and giving me a hug. It was deeply moving, I had never seen anything like that. McCain has received criticism from President Donald Trump after voting against the latest Obamacare replacement bill. John McCain never had any intention of voting for this bill, which his governor loves. He campaigned on repeal and replace. Let Arizona down, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump September 23, 2017 In statement issued earlier this week, McCain said he could not support the bill without knowing how much it will cost how it will affect insurance premiums, and how many people will be helped or hurt by it. I believe we could do better working together, Republicans and Democrats, and have not yet really tried, he said.